Hello, Levi here, bringing you another episode of the Croft Circuit Challenge, as you would have saw I uploaded yesterday, um, the Tatus FA01, which we didn't quite manage to beat Sergio Perez's um, Formula 3 time, but we can sure give it a go in the Praga, so the lap record by Sergio Perez is a 13.656. And then by a prototype, it's not really counted. So we are. Uh, we're going to say this is a GT1. So we need to beat a 16.759. So we're going to get in the car. And we're going to go rev this car up. It's a bit bit different to the Croft. Not the Croft. The um, Tatus. As, um, there's a bit less visibility. We're actually going to run a slightly different camera today. We're going to. Use this camera, because I've got a steering wheel and there's no data there that I need. This gives us a better view anyway. So we're going to start our first of three laps that we do, um, which hopefully you will get to know by now. Oh, we've outbroke ourselves there, and that's going to be off the circuit at turn one. And um, that's really annoying. Basically gives us time to learn our braking points, doesn't it? This is usually my first time at the circuit on each car but as we go down towards tower bend i've learned the name since yesterday down towards tower bend we're gonna break similar points to what we did in the fa1 and i into the jim clark essence i did check that is the correct name um and this is sunny in actually sunny in is basically two corners being here and there then as we go through out of sunny in in towards sunny out sunny out might be flat in this but i don't feel like it was in the other car as we or we go too deep into the complex and we drop it that's us facing the wrong way but we do get the tires heated up nicely so we're gonna have two laps basically we're not really gonna learn the hairpin at pace are we going to make go that quick fit sign which is just on the right hand side if you didn't see it you'll see it next lap it should be where we break as we get on to coming in this car I don't know whether there will be many cars that I can beat Sergio Perez's time in I'm not too sure what the GT1 time was but just before that first bollard there seems to work fine as we go towards Chicane which is its name on the track map which we can see is still flat. It's still a very, very sketchy area. Let's go down once again for the second time today towards Tower Bend with that dodgy bit. We're going to break lightly at about the 100 meter board. So these are not the optimal lines. It's just me testing cars at sort of what is a local circuit. I live in the northeast. This is sort of a northeastern circuit. So go through the Jim Clark S. Says down towards Sunny Inn in fifth gear and very quick we're gonna lift heavily there we're gonna break 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 oh that's us off circuit and i've realized i'm not very good at um croft in a prototype we're gonna try and set at least one valid lap i'll go two more times so we'll do four laps today as i've sort of messed it up the tatus is a bit easier to get right I feel like it's got a bit less power and I think the aero on it is a bit more prominent on a what is a base setup on the softest compound available to us. Here we go, we're in the Prague around in that final corner once again. Another invalid lap because of mistakes made by myself and nobody else. I think it might even be slower than the Tatus. Can't quite remember what the Tatus' lap time was. I'll probably put it on the screen at the end. Maybe I won't. Depends how I feel in it. But now we go for our first, hopefully, valid lap. Let's go through the chicane. It's really quick. I think that first chicane thing is called Hawthorne. Hawthorne's, but I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. Let's go just before the patch of dodgy concrete or tarmac. We'll take a decent apex. We don't use all that runoff curve because I'm bad. 
to go into Jim Clark S's. Now into Sunny in. I'm going to break here slightly, then slow down heavily so we don't spin. Use all that curb, lift and go. I think we could have took that flat out on the Tatus, but I didn't. Now just at the start of that darkened um, tarmac, he said we are, we are going to do another lap after this. We go now through complex into the hairpin. Break just later than that quick fit sign. I think you could possibly get away significantly later than the quick fix sign. We're not going to beat GT1 time. Maybe it is just because I'm bad and I don't know the car very well. But I'm not too sure where that beats the Tatus. They say uh, this ghost is going to really annoy me. We're going to go late on the brakes in turn one. When we get, we've carried a lot more speed there. Through turn one, two and three into this corner. I'm not too well known with the corner names into Chicane. I know this is called Chicane for certain as my AI car there sort of catching us on this straight. I didn't get the best exit that we could have asked for. I'm going to break nice and early. Make sure to carry as much speed through here as we can. Just miss the curbing as we get away very much quicker than our previous lap time or it feels very much quicker. Through the Jim Clark as we go, we're going to try and really push the car as much as I feel I can. Down to third gear there. And we go wide, Matt. Gonna be the video over, but we're gonna Yeah, we know we won't be here, but we'll give it a go anyway. So I think it is well it is gonna be a twenty-six. Yeah, as we overcook it. And yeah, that's gonna be all for today, so thanks very much for watching the game. I hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon. In a bit. Bye bye.